Hi everyone, it's Shannon and welcome to today's video. So as you can see, I have no makeup on and that's because I just received two new palettes from Catrice Cosmetics. So if you're not familiar with Catrice Cosmetics, they are a, I guess, somewhat of a drugstore brand. They used to be, even though you can't really find them in drugstores, at least not in the US, um, they used to be in Ulta. They're no longer in Ulta, but you can purchase them on CatriceCosmetics.com as well as Amazon. And right now the Sandy Days is on Amazon, but this one is not the Rainforest. But um, the best thing about these palettes is they are $12 each. So a lot of the times, a lot of the makeup that I, you know, review on my channel and the makeup that I personally prefer is higher end. And I have had comments and um, people, you know, DM me asking to review lower priced or more affordable makeup. And I don't really, I'm not a review channel. I kind of review, review, review makeup that I use and that I like and to give my thoughts on it. Um, and then also if there's stuff that I don't like, but I don't really purchase anything for the purpose of reviewing. However, Catrice Cosmetics sent me these. So, um, so far I've only swatched them. I haven't used them, but I'm pretty impressed with the quality. So let's go ahead and take a look at them. Okay, the first palette is Sandy Days, and this is described as 12 trendy eyeshadows, colors inspired by the sandy sun-kissed desert. So as you can see, definitely gives that vibe. It is um, as ultra soft, highly pigmented, blendable shadows, contains matte glitter and metallic textures, brown, gold, and coppery color story, highly pigmented, long wearing, and um, cruelty free and vegan, and is also formulated without oils. Um, alcohols and parabens, all that good stuff. So um, this, again, $12. This is something that I'm probably, this would be the one that I lean towards the most, but let's go ahead and take a look at the swatches. So looking at the swatches from left to right, you're gonna have sand, mirage, dune, sandstone, sun-kissed, dazed, bronzed, desert, sunbeam, daydream, heat, and infinite. Now, just from the swatches, this shade Mirage really didn't show up on me. It's more of kind of a base shadow if I wanted to kind of set my eyeshadow primer or set, you know, that's probably maybe on someone that's darker, it would show up. But for me, it's pretty much the color of my skin. So that's um, that one kind of doesn't show up. Now this is obviously the uh, sand is a really good um, highlight, brow bone highlight. And I'm trying to see, look at the ones. Um, some of these metallics were really beautiful. This sun kissed one really, really popped um, as did the sandstone, the one in the upper um, right hand corner. And then the, I'm one, trying to think the heat, this one right here, I thought really popped as well. They were all, I was really impressed with how they swatched. They were really buttery. They went on, I mean, you can look at the swatches. Those were all done with my fingertips on, you know, no primer, just on my bare skin. And now swatching doesn't necessarily trans, always transfer to how it looks on the eye, but I was really impressed. I mean, this swatched better than some of my higher end palettes. So I'm really curious to how it's going to perform. And then the other palette is Rainforest Haze. And as you can see, this is definitely a lot of greens and it says 12 trendy eyeshadow colors inspired by a lush tropical paradise. Again, um, and this contains matte glitter and metallic textures, green, gold, and brown color story and everything um, the same as the other palette. Now, this is something I would not gravitate towards just because I tend to not like color. However, the one thing I like about this is it's $12, so if I wanted to, and I don't have, I can't even think of a green palette that I have. So this is one that I'm excited to have because it's definitely out of my comfort zone, but if I wanted to spend the money, it would only be $12, and it's something that I'm probably only gonna use once in a while, but again, the quality so far with the swatches seems to be really good. So let's go ahead and take a look at the swatches now. So again, from left to right, you've got mystical, tropical, lush, reflection, rainforest, vines, waterfall, river, tranquil, exotic, sunlight, and earth. Now again, just like the other palette, the tranquil color is 
the color of my skin. So this would be something I would use to set, but it's not gonna show up on my eye. It didn't even show up on my arm. Um, Mystical is a matte, but it's very light. So this could be a matte brow bone highlight or inner corner highlight. So I thought that was interesting, especially between the two because the other one had a shimmer. So they definitely complement each other because you're not gonna have the same. And then even though I don't tend to like green shadows, I was pretty, these colors really impressed me. So first of all, this one right here, Tropical, it's just a really neat color. It's kind of like an olive green. And then you have reflection, which is not a green. It's kind of like a silvery green. Um, and then the other one, which was vines. Vines, I thought was beautiful. I think that's the one I'm gonna probably try. Um, and then river was a darker green. And then obviously, and then um, sunlight is this gold, which is absolutely beautiful. So I love golds, but so that one I thought was absolutely beautiful too. So um, again, they swatch beautifully, better than a lot of my higher end palettes, um, $12. Now this one is not available on Amazon yet, or at least right now. So right now only Sandy Days is on Amazon, but you can get it on Catrice Cosmetics, as well as with Catrice Cosmetics, they have free shipping after $30. So $30, not that much. Um, you can get free shipping two palettes together, obviously 24. And then if you sign up, they always have sales. So you, you know, sometimes if it's like the first time, I don't know if they have that right now, but um, you know, I have, I have ordered other products from their site as well. So I'm actually gonna use their found, one of their foundations today um, when I do my makeup. So again, let's go ahead and get into the demo. Okay, so I have my hair wrap on and we're gonna start with the Sandy Days. And I'm gonna be using my BK Beauty Brushes, which, um, for synthetic brushes, they're one of my favorites. This and Sigma Beauty are the two brands that I use the most um, of the like synthetic. I do have Ruffer as well, but I figure since this is a lower cost palette, it makes sense to use not lower cost. These aren't necessarily cheap, but they're less expensive than natural hair. Um, and I think they're very affordable. Um, and I think they're a great, they're really, really a great brand. So I'm gonna start with the 201, which is like the fluffy brush. And I'm gonna go in with the shade Days. Um, and use that as kind of like the transition shade is what they say. That's, you know, I am not, just so you know, I am not a makeup artist. I am just a middle-aged mom, retired beauty queen who likes makeup. So just gonna go in the crease and do this windshield wiper. Um, and I am gonna do Sandy Days on this side and Rainforest Haze on this side. So I'm gonna have two different color eyes, eyeshadows um, just to make it easier on myself. So. As you can see, this went on really, really nice, really smooth, not a lot of fallout. I'm not wearing any makeup because I always, I always have fallout, um, but I think it went on really, really nice. So for the outer corner, I am going to go into Daydream using the 205, which if you see has this nice little angle. So I'm going to go, I was, wasn't sure if I was going to go Daydream or um, Infinite, but I'm going to go a little bit lighter. Um, and see how that works because usually for the like outer corner I don't do a metallic I'll do a matte so I'm, I'm actually a little nervous so just go in and kind of just accent it doesn't have to be perfect because I'm going to hide it with the lid shade which is going to be a metallic so I'm actually really liking how this one is applying how it looks it's just enough to give an accent um, and kind of blending it out, but um, yeah, so far so good. For the lid shade, I was torn between Heat and Dune, but I think I'm gonna go with Heat. Um, I sometimes apply the lid shade with my fingertips. I'm gonna apply it with a brush with the um, 203, and if that doesn't work, sometimes it applies better with your finger. I'm gonna go in, ooh, that, that applied really nice. Um, Sometimes it's better to go in with a finger. So I'm gonna try with the brush first. Again, this is the shade Heat. Just put it all over the lid. But it does look really nice. So I am gonna go in with the finger. And yeah, the fingertip, it just applies better. And this is with any shadow. You know, it doesn't matter if it's high end, typically these types of shadows. But I mean, I'm really impressed. It went on smooth, it went on, it blended out really nicely. Um, yeah, this, 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 this palette does not seem like it's $12.
Now what I'm doing now is going over the bottom lid with my 204, the little smudger with all three shades and I've already applied which one dazed and I'm applying that one now. And, um, and then I'm gonna go in with uh, Daydream just on the outer corner, same brush and just um, through the outer corner. I'll probably have to go a little bit more once I do my, um, my makeup, but uh, just kind of gives me a running start. Now for my brow bone highlight and inner corner, I am gonna go in with my Refer 13, which is the brush that I prefer. And there's really not one, at least that I own from BK Beauty that is this size. So I'm gonna go in and let's see, do the brow bone. And again, I haven't even done my brows yet. Whoops, there we go. I haven't even done my brows yet. And then um, let's do the inner corner highlight as well. So, so far, I'm really impressed. Now I will blend this out once I get my makeup on, but so far, pretty impressed with the quality. Okay, so next up, I'm going to be going into Rainforest. And um, this one is hard for me because I'm not a color person. So obviously I'm gravitating towards the golds and the browns, but I am going to try and attempt an all green look, which is out of my comfort zone. Um, but I, you know, again, somewhat mon monochromatic. So it's a little bit not so, not so bold, but I am gonna start with the shade Waterfall as my transition. Okay, so Waterfall was a darker shade, so it's probably darker than I would normally use for a transition, but I wanted to use a green, so I'm going in very, very light-handed, and I'm going to build it up. But honestly, it went in very, very nicely, and yeah, I'm impressed, because I went in, I barely had any product, and it's it's showing up pretty well. Okay, I'm gonna try and go in with River. My, my goal is going to be to use these shades here, um, either, and maybe maybe the tropical one, but those three shades to get like a full green look. Don't know if River's going to be dark enough against the waterfall, but we're gonna, we're gonna try it out. So again, I'm going in with the BK Beauty 205 just on the outer corner, and yeah, it does. It It is, it is enough of a difference where it's, it's subtle, but it does give a little bit of depth. Okay, so I really like how that looks so far. And for me liking green, that's a little lot. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with vines again on my fingertip, because it just looks better. And let's see. Ooh, that's really pretty. That's really, really pretty. Okay, so I really like how this is looking. Um, it's all, again, monochromatic, but it's green. I like it. And I'm gonna try and use Rainforest just on the inner corner. Again, I'm gonna use my pinky finger for this one because I just wanna use this whole middle row of green, um, mainly because it's out of my comfort zone. And obviously I'm not going anywhere because I have two different eye looks. So I'm gonna go in just with the inner corner on that one. Looks really pretty. Kind of impressed with myself right now. Um, and then I'll go in with the brow bone highlight with something else. So again, using my smudger 204, I'm gonna go in on the bottom lash line and just go in with um, the three colors, or at least the first two that I used. So I went ahead and used Exotic on the brow bone and now I'm going to go do the rest of my makeup so you can get the full look. Okay, I am back and I've done my makeup and as you can see, I am pretty impressed with this, these two eyeshadow palettes. Um, not just because of the price, because they're $12 each. That, honestly, I, I, I mean, if you co compare it to something like ColourPop, to me, the quality of these two palettes is much better than anything I've ever tried with ColourPop. Um, but also, I think it just, the, the mattes blended really really nicely and i really like the the looks now i'm not so thrilled with this brow bone highlight i think i maybe just used too much because i liked it when i first went and started doing my makeup and then i added a little bit more and i think i just added a little too much so that might be user error but um other than that the the mattes blended out really nicely they were buildable um and for me to use a green eyeshadow palette and like the look is and, and didn't find that it was difficult 
I think is very it, very telling. I think they're very good, very good palettes, especially for the price point, point uh, $12 each, $24 if you wanted to buy both of them. Um, I am wearing, I wanted to mention, I am wearing the Catrice HD Liquid Foundation. Now, the, um, the two palettes were gifted to me by Catrice. This was not, this I've had, I've been testing this out on and off um, just because I've been trying to test good foundations for Disney and this is one of them. This would be one of my recommendations. It's a video that's probably coming. It was supposed to come in April and then I broke my wrist so I had to put it on hold but this is definitely one of those foundations that holds up. It looks beautiful on the skin. It's um, I am in the shade Nude Beige. This one's a little light for me right now but I do like it. It's a really great foundation and used it today. I hadn't used it in a while. Used it today. It's kind of like a serum um, and it's got uh, like a serum type texture, but it's, it's a really great foundation. So wanted to mention that because this is only $11. And like I mentioned, um, if you order on Catrice, uh, cosmetics.com you get free shipping if you spend $30 so you could spend I think it would be what $35 for these three products. You get a foundation, two eyeshadow palettes, $35. That's usually the price of not even, actually not even the price of a palette that I usually own. So, you know, it's a really great price point. I wanted to show you some of my favorite shades and kind of show you how easy, I did show you the pictures of the swatches, but I also wanted to show how easily these, um, these shades swatch. So I'm not gonna swatch every shade, but I did wanna swatch just a couple of the shades to show you. So this is Days. This is the one I use as my transition shade. This is Sandy. And it just goes on so smooth really really smooth um and then the next one let's go ahead with daydream which was the one i used on the outer edge and you can see here so it just swatches really nicely and then heat is the one i used on my lid and this is where the metallics just are really they are buttery so i wasn't um wasn't surprised that one of the shadows did arrive cracked just because they're so so buttery um, and then let me think of another one that I really liked. I think I liked um, sandstone. So sandstone is the one in the upper. I didn't use that today, but again, I really liked it. So again, they're just, that's really great quality in the, um, in this palette. And since I swatched some of the uh, sandy, let's go ahead and swatch some of the rainforest. So I'm gonna go in with waterfall. Waterfall again was that green that I went in really lightly to do as a transition. So again, it looks darker than it does, but I think it's a really good um, transition shade. So if you want it to go darker, it is build build buildable. Uh, let's see, let's go in with River, which was the one I used on the outer corner. And um, you'll see here, it just is so, so smooth. And Vines is the one I used on the lid. So again, um, just really, really, again, just buttery. They're just really smooth. Um, Rainforest was the one I used uh, on the inner corner. Another green, really pretty. And then let me do one more. Let me do Tropical, because I thought Tropical was a really neat, really neat shade. I'm gonna do that with my thumb. Let's see. So it's just a really pretty light color kind of like a yellowy green, olive green. So again, the shades, um, the shades I think are just beautiful. And for someone who doesn't like green eyeshadow, doesn't like color, how many times have I said that? I, and, and the quality I think is really great. So that's it for this video. Um, now, as far as longevity, I can't tell you about longevity because I am taking this right off. It is, uh, it is um, 10 o'clock at night. So I'm gonna be taking this off right away. But um, and also I have, two color eyeshadows. But, um, you know, as I was doing this, I've been, I started filming and then I had to put my son and bathe my son and put him to bed. And then I put my makeup on. So it was probably, my eyeshadow has been on for about two hours. I did touch it up a little bit, but it held up really well. I just touched it up a little bit, but I thought it held up really, really well. Um, and I didn't use any sort of setting spray. I did use an eyeshadow primer, but not any sort of um, setting spray. So, you know, I think it. I think it's a really good quality drugstore priced eyeshadow palette. Um, again, I've used Catrice. I've used their their foundation before. I like the brand, but I really haven't tried too much else of the of the 
of the brand just because they're not um it's not in ulta anymore but this makes me want to try some more i know they have those i think it's five in a one palette they have some other eyeshadow palettes so these if they're this type of quality i would be interested in trying them again you know and then trying other products of theirs um you know does this compare you know I, I i'll never compare like something that's 12 dollars to something that's 75 but i will say um definitely better than to me these are these are better than any color pop palette i've tried and um these are definitely better than some of the higher end like i would say urban decay i think these these mattes definitely performed and definitely the metallics there's more pigment i think they performed better than some urban decay palettes i can think of some Too faced palettes i can think of um yeah i and again twelve dollars so catrice you did it um looking forward to possibly trying out some more and um i will post links below where you can order them uh catrice cosmetics i don't have any promo codes but sign up they're always they always do have sales and then you can purchase this the sandy one on amazon um right now uh if it gets if the rainforest one gets added to amazon i will post that link below but catrice does sell all their products on amazon as well so with that if you like this video click like click and subscribe that way you get a notification every time i post a new video bye everyone